Hey guys, my name is Blaze and I'm on a mission to help coaches, consultants, high ticket service providers to change millions of lives for the better. Uh, this being said, the purpose of this video is to document a thought process I had. Uh, this morning I spent 80 minutes meditating and I had many, many, many epiphanies. So all I did, I was just sat down and I started taking notes. Basically, the, the question I had in my mind is, what do you need for a good, fulfilling life? Like, what are the things, I mean, at the age of 27, um, what are the things I've learned and I believe to be true? If one would learn all those and do those, can live a very happy, fulfilling life. Uh, generally speaking, um, I've been out on social media, mostly on Instagram. I'm documenting my life. You can see uh, how I've built my business in the last four years from zero to where it is right now. Um, I actually built up two multi six figure businesses online in the past four years. And on top of that, I documented my journey. I have, I have time to spend with friends. I have, you know, I can surf. Uh, I travel around the world. So I do all those things. And I think it's very hard to make all that happen. Like we all know we want to travel. We all know we want to meet other people. We want to have fun. We want to have money. We want to feel good about what we do in life. But I think it's not an easy clear cut process around like how to how to go about it. So the purpose of this video is to give people clarity watching this one because I, th I know you guys can watch a lot of videos on how to make more money online. But ultimately, that's not the goal of this video. The goal of this video is to give you clarity regarding what needs to happen uh, in life in order to in order to find um, a deep sensation of fulfillment. So I've broke this one down into like actually four four simple things uh, for someone to do five. Uh, this being said, the first one is self-awareness, okay? So a lot of people talk about self-awareness online. I tell you what my perspective on self-awareness and what I found this to be extremely important. Um, just a short story on me, like if you, if you knew me when I was like 17, 18, I was very self-observed. Uh, my e I had a really big ego and uh, of course it helps you in certain ways, but then it's really, it really causes you pain and struggle in other other ways and other areas of life, um, mostly in relationships. And so um, what I've learned at a very young age is that I have to, I have to develop self-awareness. I have to reflect on my own thoughts and why I act in a certain way or else I'm going to be in trouble. Okay. So this is how I dealt with, um, but this is how I kind of suppressed my ego and dealt with those problems in my life. And it's, it's a never ending journey. Uh, this being said, how to get self-awareness, what I know so far is the best way to get self-awareness is to get into the, in the, in the habit of meditation. This is the first one. Again, if you, if you don't know how to do that, easiest way is to start using Headspace or there's another app called Unwinding Anxiety. So that's the first one. The second one, and then also, like, obviously, if you, if you can afford, if you have money, then definitely find the meditation master. That's what I'm doing. In the first um, year, I just tried to get into meditation, but I always thought it's, it's bullshit and it's boring and whatever, and it's not working. And then I was very anxious. So I started using those apps to, you know, help with my anxiety, but I was not really meditating. I was more like relaxate. Uh, I was more doing like relaxation. And that's the first, you know, really the first step. And then from there, I got into meditation once I found my meditation master and I've been working with him for the past two years. And um, I've paid uh, a lot of money for people. Like I've paid uh, mentors five, ten, twelve thousand dollars to help me with my business, but I never received so much help that you know compared to the amount of help I received from my meditation master is not even comparable. So uh, he's also my psychologist. So he has he has background in psychology, and then he's he he lived um, in a Christian community for over twenty years, just meditating. So uh, definitely find someone uh, that's you know that actually an expert and has wisdom and, you know, don't someone who's like, you know, 20 something age old because might not be the best uh, guide for you. So this being said, that's the first one. If you need help with this one, just reach out to me on Instagram and I will try my, uh, I will try my best to find, uh, to check in with a meditation master if you can, you know, uh, recommend someone. The second one is critical, critical thinking. Um, and the third one is really self-reflection journaling. Um, it's basically just making sure that you have a process for putting the, your thoughts down and analyzing them weekly, monthly, yearly. I always put these down. Uh, the second one is uh, like, what? sorry, what it would provide you, what self-awareness can provide you is uh, knowledge, right? You would gain knowledge, you would gain wisdom and you would gain clarity from self-awareness, okay? So the next step is once, once 
And this is never ending. Okay, this is where this is where most people start. And why I really emphasize is I see a lot of people get into business, online business, because they want to make money, right? But they are usually very young and they just don't have self-awareness. They don't do these things. And what I see is that either they burn either they don't even make money and they like become very frustrated, anxious, and burn out and deal with depression, or they make they actually become very successful. That's the that's actually the better case. And, but then it's the same thing. Like they, they can't enjoy life. They struggle to enjoy life. They can't, um, build real, uh, through relation. They, they feel lonely. They can't build uh, strong, true relationships with other people. They can't find, um, <clears throat> their partner in life, like all that kind of things. And so, um, again, like be warned, um, the way to build a house is you, you, you have to have strong foundations and strong foundations is self-awareness, like meditating, doing all these things. That's when you have uh, strong foundations in order to get into step number two, which is helping others with your learnings. Okay. So once, once you gather knowledge, wisdom, clarity, whatever it is, you can go out and help others with your learning. Okay. So how to go about it? Simple, you know, create and distribute free content that can better other people's life. And, uh, if they implement that thing, so books, whatever, like, it doesn't really matter, um, how you go about it. it what matters is that you are consistent with that, with that, with that way of creating content, just like me over here. And so if you, if you're not, if you're good on camera, shoot videos like this. If you're not good on camera, maybe you should, um, but you're good in written form. Maybe you, you know, you just post images with copy on Instagram or you create a blog or you write on LinkedIn, or maybe if you, if you're only good at audio, you can do a podcast. It doesn't really matter as long as you talk about something you're passionate about and it can help other people's, you know, better their life. That's all that matters. You just have to find uh, your own way of going about it. So that's the second one. Um, the one thing I would say over here is I, a lot of people, they tell like, when I talk to a lot of people, friends, um, and people in my life, when I try to convince them to do something like this, they tell me that, well, they don't know what to do. They don't know what they're good at. Um, and in reality, in most cases, they are really good at many things, right? There are like multiple things they are good at. They just don't take action on it. And so if you're watching this video, one thing I want you, actually two things I want you to understand. The first one, if you feel like you don't know what to do or you don't know what you're good at, then my question would be, have you ever blocked out a whole day to try find that or a week or something? Like, have you ever actually went on a longer journey to, to, to dig deep into who you are, what you do and what you're good at? Because if you have not, then it's not surprising that you don't know. Like if you haven't do, did this, did these things, you haven't thought about what you can help people with. It's not surprising that you don't know how to do that. Um, and then there is like, there are like so many things you can do. People want to better their health, wealth relationships. So if there is anything you've ever done for your own health, wealth, or relationship that worked out for you, then I, I guarantee you have a process around it or on how you get there. So you are your own case study, you are your own transformation. So whatever you had in your life before that you can use to help other people, give an example, maybe you were overweight and you lost weight sustainably then you can help people do that. Maybe before you were broke, but you find some, something that made you money, you can help people do the same. Maybe you hated your nine to five job. Um, I'm just gonna, I need to, I need to leave it inside. Nine to five job, but then you quit the job and then whatever, or you were frustrated and you find a way to get, get around it. Or, uh, you call out your toxic friends in your life, right? Uh, that was actually a girl I dated uh, a couple of days ago. And she told me that's, that was her thing, right? And so I told her like, Hey, you can actually help other people do that. You can have coach people through that same experience. Hold on one sec. Let me grab this thing. And also another thing you can do, if you feel like there is nothing like, and I, I don't think it's true, but if you feel like nothing has ever happened in your life that, uh, where you solve the problem and you feel like you can help other people solve the same problem, then the easiest way is to just help others is, um, you learn something, you have to purposefully learn something. The easiest thing is learn something on marketing, sales or content creation online, and then use that skill and sell that to the market. A lot of people would be happy to pay uh, for guys like me, you, like actually people paid me for a long time for this to help them get their problem solved. Like business owners being further along in their journey, they just don't have the time to execute on those things. They don't have the time to look at all those things. So if you do that, you would have those people. And you have to have this mindset when you're doing those things, when you learn on marketing, sales, content creation, you're learning those to help people like other, let's say coaches and consultants or other people who are changing lives, you help them. So if you're really good at your own craft, right? They would 
compensate you financially um, uh, handsomely. And then you also, with what you do, you would have more people change lives. And that's that's why you do it, not because of the money. That's an important thing. Because as, as soon as you make the money be the, be the end goal, then I guarantee it's going to be a longer journey for you. Um, and I've seen this many, many times. And I've also dealt with this problem. <laughs> so this being said, helping others with your learning, right? So this is how you go about it. The first step is really not to make money. The first step is to create content around what you know, right? So you learn something and you start creating content. Uh, this, will, this will provide you with people um, who are open to dig deeper and they're open to invest into this relationship with you. And uh, in order to get more hands-on support, so it's really, it would set the ground. Um, it would set the ground for later to build a business. And then also it would give you purpose, passion, and excitement. If you talk about things that you enjoy, uh, then that it would give you all these. Like I really enjoy recording this video. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like holiday right now. Okay. So the next one is to, and the third step is really like once you have, once you strengthened your self-awareness, once you start to put out yourself um, to help others, right, for free, like you started creating some content, so you're like, a re you look like a reliable expert in the field, then that's when the third step happens is that's when you can start generating wealth, building a business that helps other people uh, better their life. And I can, I can see with full confidence that this is one of the most, most fulfilling things I've ever experienced in my life. And how you go about it is that you help people achieve a transformation in three to 12 months that positively impacts their life in exchange for a lot of money. Like they are invested because they are invested into their transformation. Uh, people pay attention when they pay money, right? And also, I believe money is nothing more than a transaction of energy. So that's why if you want people to change their life, you have to have this transaction of energy or else it's, it's not going to be like that life changing because they are not committed. They are not sold on the idea of making that change happen, be it fitness, be it their mindset, be it, you know, teaching them how to make, how to generate wealth online, like whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that they are investing in a transformation, a transformation uh, should better their life. Okay. So the way to go about this one is obviously you have to get people on a, on a phone call. Uh, I mean, there are, there are cases when you don't, but th this is the vast majority. You have to get people on a phone call because you sell something that has high value and uh, usually a bit more complex than just a simple course. And you have to listen. You have to really listen. You have to genuinely care about these people. And uh, the only thing you shouldn't do is you shouldn't buy into their limitations. A lot of people, when you're on these sales calls, they're going to tell you what they want. And then when you tell them what they have to do in order to get what they want, they're going to come up with limitations. And if you buy into those, that's when they're going to, um, that's when they're going to leave the call. That's when, that's when they're going to say that they're going to try something before they're going to procrastinate. They're going to, they're going to be scared. They're going to be scared. Right. And so that's, that's when you come into the picture then, and that's when you're, you, you have to step up as a leader and you have to empower those people and lead them. Uh, towards uh, towards the change because they have to make the first step in the direction of the change. So that's how you do this. And then obviously another part is to really start hiring and growing a team around, you know, around this vision, around this mission you're creating over here. Um, what it, it would give to you is it would give to you a lot of self-growth. I can, I can say from experience, like in the past four years, um, I've changed insane. Like if you would talk to my friends, talk to the people in, in high school with me and all that kind of stuff, like they would see like they've changed a lot. They wouldn't even probably wouldn't even recognize me. So this is the first one, like really would give you self growth. The second one is if, if we give you ownership of, um, if we give you ownership skills, like you would be more likely to take responsibility for your life and for everything happens in your life. If you're a business owner, or at least that's what I found. And they would also give you leadership skills, uh, which are like extremely valuable if you want to help other people. And then obviously, uh, it would give you or provide your community of amazing people. And it would also give you capital and network that you can use later again, if you want to help people. And that's my last step. It's all about, and I've, that's what I've learned literally from meditation. What I learned is that, um, the most beautiful thing is life is being service to others. And so this being said, the best way I believe to service others is to, and that ever like, I really want to explain this because I'm, ex I'm super excited about this one. And, and, uh, I'm super happy that I kind of figured this one out is that 
when you say you service to people, there are so many ways to service to people. If you sell something really expensive, uh, then m- some people would argue, well, it's not, it's not the right way to go because so many people cannot afford your services. So what, what about them? Who's going to have them, right? But in reality, and then, and then you can say, well, well, I can create a free course for those people who cannot afford that service. So they are also getting the help, right? And then, okay, that's nice. But what about the people who don't even have internet? And then, you know, these, these, these layers, like people, people always use this as excuses of like not to do things because they're like, yeah, those people need help, blah, blah, blah. And then they would, I would stop right over here. What I want to say is that I, I believe the best way to go about solving this equation is this, um, in order for you to, to help others, to be service to others, you have to have solid foundations. Like you have to be strong for them and for everyone around you, right? Like mentally strong. So that's when you build self-awareness. That's where you do all these things. Financially strong. So that's where you do all this too, right? And um, if, you, if you do it, if you take care of yourself first, then you're in the position to help others. The way, the, I think the best and most efficient way to help others first is to find people with capital, with money, um, who are in need of your services, who has problems to be solved. So solve those problems for the money. And then if you do that, it's going to be, you have to spend a lot of time from your own personal time, one-on-one with those people helping them. Right. And that's beautiful because if you do that, you would learn, you learn a lot. That's like, you're going to acquire in-depth knowledge, super important. So you get that in-depth knowledge and with that in-depth knowledge, you can start creating free trainings, free, free information for people, because you would, you would, you would really understand, you would deeply understand how to solve that problem. So it's easier for you that's why people go wrong when they just create a course from the get go, they never actually like have people one on one. Right. And they just create a course. That's the problem. They either haven't actually done the work or they haven't learned what it takes to really help those people. So the course is a little bit wishy washy, right? And it's not really helping people that much. But if you've actually put in the work, like did all the work yourself with your team, and you have a lot of people, it's much more, it's much easier for you to um, to filter out the noise from the actual valuable information. And so that's when you can put together things. I would, I really hope like this one, I feel like this is a byproduct of me, you know, thousands of hours, uh, no, thousands of hours, but yeah, actually a couple thousand hours of meditation. Um, and then, and then also like the past four years of, of like putting in hard work. So this being said, you can create free information, but that's another, another step. First, you have people one-on-one or, you know, in a group environment, you, it's deep, it's deep work one-on-one. Then you create free information. And then the next level is really like how people in need, right? Like, um, the have nots. And so how you do that is obviously another, and one way to go about it. And I'm starting with this. Um, I'm starting this this year, donate 10% of your income for good causes. So myself personal, I'm going to help, uh, people, I'm going to donate uh, money to have people have clean drinking water. That's a project I'm going to go into this year. And then you can proactively encourage people around you to have, uh, to, you know, to have join these movements and you can inspire other people to, to go out of their own way and start helping these people that are truly in need. And this would provide you with sense of fulfillment, joy, happiness. So this is my current outlook on life. Uh, I have, I'm reserving all rights to change this because I know, um, as we move through life and learn new things, we always, we always see things from a different perspective, but I feel like this is so far well put together and I'm super comfortable sharing this to people around me. And so, um, if you enjoy this video, please do me a solid. If you appreciate this video, do blaze a solid, share it to a couple of your friends Tell them that they should watch this video. Tell them that you, if you truly believe, tell them that you feel like you got something out of it and you want them to do good and good in life as well. That's why I'm recording this video. And um, if you want to encourage me to shoot more of these videos, then start engaging, like put in the comments, put in your thoughts, tell me where you want me to go deeper, where you want to learn more, reach out, you know, hit me up on Instagram and, uh, I'll try my best to be a service to you guys. Peace.